hey guys here's a short video on drugs causing torsitis depointis and uh, also a few electrolyte imbalances that causes torsitis depointis so i have got everything in a single uh, sheet of paper so that it is easier for you to remind revise later and this is a frequently asked topic torsitis depointis is a frequently asked question so firstly let us know what is torsitis depointis this is the ecg for you which is showing torsitis depointis which is a prolonged QT syndrome guys so torsitis depointis is otherwise called as prolonged QT syndrome so the definition wise if the QT prolongation is greater than 440 milliseconds in male and 460 millisecond in female it is called as torsitis depointis and few electrolyte imbalances that causes torsitis depointis are all hypos so hypokalemia hypocalcemia and hypomagnesemia are the three electrolyte imbalances that you need to know and few important drugs and the classes that you need to know which causes torsitis depointis so here's a huge list of drugs which causes torsitis depointis and i have got few mnemonics for you so firstly let us learn the mnemonics antiarrhythmics is a antibiotic family is b and antipsychotic is c antidepressant is d and antiemetic is e so a b c d and e which is antiarrhythmic antibiotic antipsychotic antidepressant and antiemetic so these are the five different classes main classes that you need to know coming to antiarrhythmic guys so in antiarrhythmic classification also you have one two three and four classes classes right in antiarrhythmics in that also for one a and one uh, one a and three are the classes so for one a drugs you need to remember like a queen and prince are living in a pyramid and they got aids yes i know guys all these are stupid mnemonics but stupid mnemonics only you will remember in the exam so remember like a queen and prince uh, living in a pyramid have got aids okay contacted aids so queen is quinidine prince pr is procainamide and pyramid is disopyramide okay so queen and prince and pyramid all these three are one a drugs coming to aids that is amiodarone ibutulide d is dofetilide and s is sotalol all these drugs are class 3 antiarrhythmic drugs so that completes antiarrhythmic coming to antibiotic family so family here i have written wantedly because f is for fluoroquinolone a is for azoles and m is for macrolides guys so fluoroquinolones are these first four drugs that floxacins are fluoroquinolones and macrolides are these two and azoles are ketoconazole itraconazole and one more drug which is an antiviral drug non nucleoside reverse, trans reverse transcriptase inhibitor which is uh, rilpivirin you have to remember so fluoroquinolones in that fluoroquinolones also two important points that maximum risk of torsitis depointis is with moxifloxacin so maxi is with moxi and least is ciprofloxacin guys and there is important one one more uh, question here that sparfloxacin has been withdrawn from the drugs uh, because of its side effect torsitis depointis which which is lethal in nature so sparfloxacin is withdrawn coming to c which is antipsychotics so antipsychotics remember like qt period prolongation so q is quetiapine t is thioridazone and period is haloperiodol droperiodol so you can derive the spelling period at p e r i o and d so haloperiodol droperiodol thioridazone quetiapine and one more drug that is ziprasidone you have to remember coming to d which is antidepressants so here also i have got one nonsense mnemonic for you which is i am a desi doctor i am a desi doctor sir faxing the fluoxetine so i am is imipramine am is amitriptyline desi is desipramine doc is doxapin sir is sertraline faxing is venlafaxin and fluoxetine so this thing like usually doctors are depressed because they have to read many things they have to learn all this uh, stupid ratifying things right so that's why they are depressed remember like that i'm a desi doctor sir faxing the fluoxetine for antidepressants and antipsychotic cut prolongation coming to e that is antiemetics we know that cetron drugs like ondansetron granisetron dolacetron are emetics antiemetics and one more point that palonosetron has the least effect guys palonosetron has the least effect here whereas in fluoroquinolone ciprofloxacin was the one which is having least effect and few important other drugs are also there i don't have any mnemonics for that 
these are the drugs used in migraine uh cisapride is also withdrawn dolacetron is anti emetic and uh, methadone is also an important question previously asked so you have to remember uh, these uh, these drugs guys uh, for whatever i can make the mnemonic i made the mnemonic and rest all drugs you have to remember go through this chart uh, like frequently so you can remember the drugs thank you if you guys like the video please do like share and subscribe to the content we also have a telegram channel the links to which are provided in the description below we also have many such mnemonic topics from all the 19 subjects for neat pg and nsat which helps you solve the questions with easy tricks and tips thank you